Raila Morodinga also is saying that he's going to boycott presidential debate if certain things are not going to be considered. Number one, yenye nimesikia kisema ni kwamba they have to talk about corruption in the debate. Professor Chochu Wajakoya also said that he's not going to attend if he's not going to debate together with Raila Morodinga, William Samoy Ruto and David Maura. The only person who has not complained about the debate scheduled to take place on Tuesday 26th is David Mwaura. Also, William Samuel, also some few weeks back, he was also complaining that he was not going to attend to the presidential debate with no reasons. Now I've come with this analysis and I want us to do here a, I want your reactions in the comment section after I'm through with the video now my question is do you agree that what I'm thinking uh, those who are arranging this presidential debate should do in this video, I'm going to talk about why they should consider doing a debate with all four presidential candidates together. Are you supporting me by saying so? Before we go deep to the analysis of this channel, just in case you are here for the first time and you've not subscribed, kindly just take a second or two, subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for your information, subscribing is for free. It is not costing anything, it is for free. And put on the notification bell. If you don't put it on, then you will not receive my contents every time I upload. And for the new subscribers, thank you very much for always supporting this channel. Uh, we are this far because of your great support towards me. Thanks and let's go straight to the analysis of this channel. Uh, today I was thinking that uh, the organizers of the presidential debate should bring all the four presidential candidates together. You know what a debate means. I don't, I, I, I don't think a good debate should have only two candidates and we have only four candidates. If the program is taking four hours, they have to start at five till eight, but with all the presidential candidates together. And let us, let us not see what we saw last time the moderators are doing. The mistake the moderators are doing is that they don't have questions to ask or they don't have points to be discussed in that debate. They were waiting the candidates to attack the other opponent so that they can get a question from what used to attack the opponent. Uh, in the running mate debate, I saw it It started when Martha Karua attacked Rikati Gashawa and Rikati Gashawa did not take it lightly and that's the time he also started attacking Martha Karua and so many questions were directed to Martha Karua. The explanations were needed from Mother Karua. Now, a debate must come with things from the manifesto of the presidential candidates and they have to be discussed. And that those things common mana inch are complaining about things like corruption, how are they going to lower food prices and how they are going to provide security to our country and Main things, those are the things the debate should have. And now here, when they are saying that the debate, first debate is going to take place between uh, Professor Joshua Jakoya and David Maura, I don't think that one is going, is going to be fair. For the debut presidents, 
you saw the two the first debate it was purely the deputy presidents discussing about the manifesto of their parties but when it came to the second one it was just uh, attacking one another I, do, I, did, I didn't see that debate uh, doing it well according to me but according to you maybe there, there were those who were very happy the way uh, regarding regard the shower was articulating and, uh, and those who were happy about Martha Karwa and here for Professor George Wachakoya needs to debate together with William Samuel Ruto so that they can argue together and ask points, ask questions that are related to one thing. Because if Professor George Wachakoya is going to do with David Mwaura, then he will not be satisfied with what he needs. At the same time, David Mwahora will never be satisfied. And when you see Raira Morodinga, Raira Morodinga is saying that the presidential debate should include corruption matters. Those are the things they want to debate on one on one with William Samuel Ruto. They see all Kenyans are going to see who will kill or will completely deal with corruption cases in Kenya, how Kenyans are going to be in a country that is corrupt free or that a country that has, has reduced the cases of corruption. Now those are the things Raira Moro Dinganets and in the side of William Samuel Ruto, uh, I saw them demanding that they have to give out what they are going to discuss. When you give William Samuel Ruto the points that you are going to debate on, then be prepared that William Samuel Ruto is going to score in that debate. Because you've given him the you have given him the Mwakenya, the same Radhiasha was given the Mwakenya by those who are telling him on what he's going to talk about in the debate. Imagine you have given William Samuel Ruto what you are going to talk about about he will talk and exploit everything and he will never give even a single minute behind for you to ask questions if it is two minutes then he has to make sure that the point is well prepared and he's going to utilize two minutes so that the writer morning can speak if the four candidates come together then it's going to be a well organized debate a debate that kenyans are going to be satisfied you know raira molo dinga also when he's talking about corruption there's so many things he knows william samuel ruto has done in the chupiri government there's so many questions he also has prepared that William Samuel Ruto has to elaborate to Kenyans and that's why you can hear him telling the moderators that they have to give a debate what they are going to discuss and what they want to discuss. This is a debate where Kenyans are ready to know who is going to deliver and by the way there are those who are saying that uh, these debates are not such important to Kenyans. I can say they are so important because there are those voters who have not decided where they are, where they are going to vote. And there are those who have decided that they will vote for William Samuel Ruto, but they don't have genuine reasons why they are going to vote for him. And there are those who are going to support Raira Morodinga without genuine reasons why they are going to vote for him but when kenyans are exposed to such debates they decide whom they are going to vote for the person who is going to help the country the person who is going to fight for the interests of all kenyans not individuals this where now presidential candidates are fearing because if they are not prepared psychologically on what questions or what they are going to debate about, then they, they are most likely to panic 
and give out things that they have not been saying to Kenyans. Guys, this is what I had in this video. I think you will comment and tell me how do you think if they just bring a debate that is going to have all the four candidates together and not in separate in two groups. Let them come four in one debate. Let them grill it and give out what Kenyans are expecting. What are your suggestions? Will they bring it in two or they bring one debate of four candidates involved? Thank you and let's prepare for our next analysis.